morning, my lovelies. <clears throat> I apologize for background noise, and I am doing a banked video. Um, this video is uh, a daily devotional. My name is Red Moon Eagle, and it is early in the morning one morning, and I'm doing a banked video for my daily devotional channel because I, every once in a while, have somebody at home, and I can't do... Um, uh, video in the morning because I have an audience or uh, I can't record I guess because there's a lot of noise and even this morning there is a dishwasher going in the background <laughs> um, I'd love it if you subscribed and hit the bell icon and join me most mornings Monday through Friday uh, in daily devotional so the cards that are were chosen for today's video whatever time in the future is the wolf and Wolf is guardian of the family and tribe, activism ritual. The wolf's mission is to uphold the well being of longevity of the pack. Healthy wolf energy expresses itself through activism, mentorship, humanitarian efforts, or teaching. The wolf gets into trouble when it assumes every member of the tribe must follow suit. This includes children walking in their parents' footsteps. Although it will surely be uncomfortable at first, the practicing tolerance helps balance out agitating the wolf energy. Contemplate the following, embrace all, exclude none. When in balance, reliable, democratic, and fearless. When out of balance, judgmental and dominating. To bring into balance, practicing letting go. I love that, that's beautiful. Okay, and we are doing the Mystic Shaman Oracle Guidebook, the one that's for this one. And the essence of this card is in the vision quest, you face your fear, embrace your mortality, and then meet face to face with spirit. When we feel stagnant, a vision quest brings our lives into perspective. We visualize our flaws, our potential, and the opportunities life is now offering us. We remain, we remain on a vision quest until we find the key to open the door to write a new chapter in our lives. The invitation is to find clarity by spending time alone in nature. If you live in a city, go for walks in the park. If you live in the country, make sure you take time to spend outside in contemplation. Get off the couch, get away from your desk, get outside. Spirit helps us to help those who help themselves. So set our intention and ask nature for a guiding vision in your life. The medicine of this card, spirit has been trying to contact you, but, you have, but has received no answer. <laughs> You are too busy with your life. There is too much noise inside your head. Do not miss the call again. Make room for quiet time this evening. Allow yourself to become bored for a little while, and you'll be able to hear the important message trying to get through. Oh, I love that. So this is that card. I forgot to show you that. Number 60, Vision Quest. Embrace your mortality. Meet face to face with spirit. Vision Quest brings our lives into perspective. We realize our flaws, our potential, and the opportunities life is now offering us. Isn't that beautiful? So Vision Quest with Wolf. Isn't that a beautiful combination? And Wolf is guardian of the family tree. Wolf is expressing yourself through activism, mentorship, humanitarian efforts. And Wolf gets into trouble when you assume every member of the tribe must follow suit. Practicing tolerance helps balance out the agitated wolf energy. I love this combo. I really do. Because one of the things that um, bubbled up when I pulled these and I'm reading them the first time is that A true vision quest, a true seeing, and being able to pay attention to spirit is understanding that we aren't meant to do this alone. We're not meant to live our lives in isolation. It's very rare that somebody has a life where they're meant to be in isolation. And the world and the universe, if that's part of your blueprint, will conspire to make sure that you are alone all by yourself. And I don't mean lack of community, I mean where you're stranded on a desert island. Most people are meant to learn through community and through connection, whatever those lessons are. And what 
the irony that I have always found interesting is that humans will say that they crave sameness. I want it to be the same. I want everything to be the same. But in reality, their growth requires change and change is where the dynamics happen. Change is where you grow, where you connect to spirit. And, you know, when I was a little kid, my I would say, I'm bored. And my dad would go, well, I can give you something to do. <laughs> and sometimes it was like, yeah, give me something to do. And sometimes it was, are you sure? And I'm like, no, never mind. I'm going to go find a book to read. <laughs> or I'm going to go play in my room. Or I'm going to go clean or whatever it was that I did. I very rarely cleaned. But sorting and tidying up was something that I like to do. So I think today's or the, the today's cards is very much a theme of we're meant to do it together. We're supposed to grow in spirit together. And the one entity you can never get get rid of is the Mother Earth entity. She is a sentient being. She's connected to all of us. Our, our physical man manifestations or our earth suits come as a gift from her. And as a gift through a woman, an entity living in a woman's body has grown a whole new meat suit for you. And that's a gift. And the wolf tells us we need community, but we need tolerance so that everybody isn't a cookie cutter of you. And we need this card, we need Vision Quest to know that we have somebody with us all the time. We have Mother Earth. And she is a sentient entity and she has consciousness and awareness and all of the entities that live within her realm also have consciousness, also have awareness. So we're never alone. We do not have to do this alone. It can feel alone. It can feel like you're in isolation, and I 100% get that. But I promise you, get a little bored. Spend a little time connecting with other people. Go outside, get in nature, do something you've never done before. Do something that you would normally find boring and see if you can connect. So that's today's theme. I hope you all have a beautiful day, and I will see you in prayer. Blessed be.